All right, today I'm back with another tool. Hopefully this is going to be a very short video, but uh, I call this tool my portfolio rebalancing tool. So one of the big draws of the robo-advisor is that they will rebalance your portfolio for you automatically. Um, some of them will even let you set up a, a time interval to do that, but the typical one is on an annual basis. If you're managing your own portfolio, which uh, is what I do, uh, rebalancing can be quite a chore. It's not difficult by any means, but uh, getting the price of uh, the, the current price of the stock, uh, how many you hold and doing all the math and calculating it to make it just right uh, can, be a bit, can be a bit complex and uh, be prone to error, even though it's not very, very difficult to do. So uh, what I have here is a tool that I made in Excel. And I have a comparable version that works in Google Sheets and uh, gets live data as well, which uh, I'll also link to the video. But what this does is it links uh, to live data and allows you to uh, track your portfolio holding. So for this demo, I'm doing what I call my risk parity inspired um, asset allocation. So it's basically a, a four asset allocation portfolio that has uh, uh, large cap growth, long-term treasury, gold, and then a REIT. So ideally, I would like to have a balanced portfolio that has 50% of the large cap growth, 25% long-term treasuries, 15% gold, and then 10% uh, REIT. And for this particular portfolio, I'm using the Schwab large cap ETF for that large cap uh, growth. And then for a REIT, I'm just picking a Realty Income Core. So within Microsoft Excel, you have this uh, stocks data type that you can grab the current price of, and then you can put in your uh, quantity that you're holding and then uh, calculate the current value. And if I were to go to data and click uh, refresh all, it should grab the latest price. And as I do that, hopefully you saw that in the current portfolio allocation, the percentages uh, change ever so slightly, right? Now, if we go to the top where the actual rebalancing tool exists, um, if you were to do this by hand, you certainly can, but because there are a lot of moving pieces, it's easy to make a mistake. So if I were to bring this current allocation back to the balance allocation, uh, this tool is telling me I have to make these moves right here. So basically, I have to sell some of my REITs, about 80 shares of it. I have to buy 70 shares of the large cap growth, uh, sorry, I have to sell 70 shares of the large cap growth and then buy some long-term treasuries and then uh, buy some gold. And you can kind of see that because uh, this is uh, about 2% higher than my desire allocation of 10%. And then the large cap growth is at 51.8, so 52%. It's also about 2% higher. And if we were to sell from here and from here and reallocate to long-term treasuries and gold, we'll bring that back to uh, the 15% and uh, the 25%. So that's basically how, how it would work for uh, rebalancing. The other scenario that you may do is that, let's say that you have this uh, current holding, right? But you're going to contribute to this some amount of money, whether it's on an annual basis or a monthly basis, and you want to incorporate the new contribution amount into your rebalancing. So the way you would do that is you would go to this cell here that says amount invested, and you would add in the amount that is uh, being contributed. So as an example, right now the portfolio is worth about $281,000. Let's say that I was gonna add another uh, $19,000 to bring this to a little above 300,000. So the way that I would do that is I would go to the cell and at the end of the formula in the formula bar, I would add in that new contribution. So we said 19,000. Now, as soon as I hit enter, the amount invested is going to increase to be above uh, 300, a little bit above 300. And you're also going to see these amounts in terms of shares to buy or sell uh, change accordingly. OK, so here we go, a little bit above 300. And you can see that uh, because we added that new contribution, we're actually only selling the REIT and then we're buying these other uh, these other uh, assets. So. Uh, there you go. That's basically how it works. The Google Finance, uh, sorry, the Google Sheets that uses uh, the Google Finance API works pretty much exactly the same. In any case, uh, hopefully this is a, a useful tool for you. 
Uh, give me a thumbs up, come back and catch more videos. Thank you.